Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche. Where today? Oh, what are we gonna do? Planted boxes for Emily, I reckon. Okay, let's see. How are we doing? 10 hours on this. Oh my goodness, it still needs more fertilizer. What? Oh, I've got some there. Right, okay, let's uh, throw that on there. I'm gonna need to. Did I give in. Oh, over here. Right. I was trying to think to myself at the same time as I was doing that. Did I actually hand in my last commission? I must have done. So let's run and get another one. I'll do that as my first thing every day now. Get back into the habit. Things got a bit crazy back there. Higgins is already there. Look, see, he doesn't forget. Higgins will never forget. So I've got to be on the ball. So what we got? Wooden basket. Bronze bar. Charcoal. Fibre cloth. Wooden basket's probably going to be the easiest out of those. 19 points with the good doctor as well. Wow, that's actually... The, I actually got the best one for social points there. Amazing. If I do one of these every single day, then that's going to be many, many social points with people. Okay, the next thing I want to do is to just nip in here and see if uh, Gust and Albert are at work. And if they are, I've got some stuff to give them. Presents. Because these will last me a good way through. They really will. I should chat as well, actually. Oh, 16 points today. Spend chat. Time on tasks that you actually need to do. So that's like 20 points straight away with Gust there. Most of the newer houses in Porsche were built by our company. Ah. Gust did the designs. I did the construction work. So if you ever need to upgrade your house, workshop, or anything else, just come to our office. I will do. In the meantime, I'm going to squidge everything I can right in there. I should hopefully have now designs for something from Petra. I also have nearly enough data disks to give her another set. So I'll go mining again today. I can maybe give her some more data disks and really start expanding the tech, pushing the technolo technological advancement. I sound like Mayor Gale now, don't I? Technological. Push the tech. Push the tech forward. Fur for me. Thank you very much. Civil furnace. Very nice. We'll have to try and make one of those very soon. Because that'll be super useful. Right. Let's have a look, shall we, at what we need to make a civil furnace. New. Check. Five bronze plates, three marble planks, two stone stools. Is that all? Wow, okay. I'll start getting bronze plates and marble planks then, shall we? Because that's going to be useful. Super useful. I can make four bronze plates and two marble planks. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? Do we have any more bronze? Yes, we do. So that'll make me another one. Just keep topping up this bronze. I don't, want, I don't really want to make too many more... Um, normal furnaces because quite often once I start getting the, the bigger and better furnaces I do dig them up let's make that fifth bronze plate I know I'm using up all my bronze but it'll be good it'll be worth it and then marble after that and then stone stools and that's that done right looking back at this DD car so what how far are we with the DD car now we need five of them so we're gonna need 25 glass. Do we have 25 glass? I don't believe we do. Do we have glass being made? Yes, we do. Okay. Just keep that going. Refuel it. Keep it all going. Copper bars. Do the same with them. Keep it refueled. Keep it all stocked up. Same with the bronze bars. Refuel. Okay, then I need to look at what I need to do. Oh, sorry, I forgot to stock it back up with the... Uh, 
Okay, so it looks to me like we're slightly running out. No, we're not. We've got plenty of copper and tin. We just don't have enough, like, smelting power, effectively. So. Wooden baskets next. Also, how many... Pl I can do one planter. I have enough wooden boards to do all three. I have enough soil to do all three. No, I don't. I've got enough wooden boards to do three. Oh, dude, sorry. Well, that was nice and easy. So once the plates are done, I need to do three marble blocks, but I don't have enough marble to do that, so I need to bash a few more rocks on the way. Like this one, get some more marble. And then find Dr. Zhu. Sort my inventory as well, actually. Okay, I'm starting to put things for the DD cart into the miscellaneous uh, tab, but maybe I should be putting them elsewhere. I'm not sure, really. That bloodstone as well, and these old parts. I'll eventually have a mechanical parts chest and, and a few other things like that. See, that was marble as well. Nearly missed out on it. Yeah, I'll eventually have like a mechanical parts chest and all of that good stuff, but at the moment I'm just keeping it quite simple. Just so I don't, you know, I'm, to be honest, I'm not really running out of stamina at the moment. So that's quite good. So the idea, just in case you didn't realise, um, just to get around the smallish bug that may well, it might even be fixed pretty soon anyway, just getting some of the quests a little bit out of order if you hand in the bridge on any other day than seemingly a Saturday. So I'm going to wait until a Saturday just to hand it in then and see whether my game goes alright with that. Fingers crossed it will. Level 13, very nice. So yeah, I've got myself quite a few bits of marble there so I should be able to do that once it all comes up. Once we're finished making the bronze bits. I mean, I, I'm probably going to need a second cutter at some point, but we can do that when we're ready. Let's go and find the good doctor, shall we? See where he is. And, oh. He is nowhere. Well, that sucks. Because normally it tells you. Normally it tells you where Dr. Xu is going to be. Oh right, no, he is in the clinic. It just wasn't showing the question mark like it normally does. How very odd. It's midday already. What have I been doing with my day? Midday basically means my day has just begun. Hello, hello. If you find a new no, I already heard that one. Last time. I don't have time for listening to things all over again. I do have time to stop you and say hi though. Can't get in here yet. Or can I? Oh. See, now my, my little question mark's showing up. How very odd. Hello, hello. Thank you, you've been a huge help. Yay, extra 90. I've got a bookmark. How nice. Wow. Wow. Extra critical. That'll do early on. This is, that must be the Civil Corps stable. I didn't realise they had one of those. I guess I've been like going in there and I haven't really been looking. Maybe the flying pig statue is in the way. I'm not sure, but wow. Wowee. Okay. So. 
handed those in. I've still got the bridge head and the bridge body, but they're the only real quests I've got at the moment, I think. Yeah, just those two. That's fine by me. Ooh, I got more skills that I have not spent when I got to level 13. Let's, let's be more talky-talky. That now means that I'll always get 100%, always get two points. All the time. From uh, talking to people, which I do quite a bit at the moment, so I feel that that's good. Okay, so next thing I want to do is work out really what kind of resources I need at the moment. I seem to be quite good for glass, bronze bars, copper bars. I'm quite good for all of those things. How are we doing for wood? I know that tree is a bit in the way. Huh? Not so great for wood. I could turn some of my hardwood into normal wood. It probably would be a useful thing to do right now. Because until the point where I get generators, I can't really burn hardwood. A lot more things I can make right now. I can go all the way up to an iron sword, but I can certainly do a bronze sword. Which might be good. As soon as I start actually fighting things, that would be very useful to have. If I had more teeth, though, for some reason I have some teeth. I don't know where I got them from. Probably from pan bats, actually. So I kill a few more pan bats with my practice sword. I can get myself an enhanced bronze sword, which will give me 60 attack instead of the standard 45. Which might be quite good. Iron sword is 90, though. Need animal bones for that. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Maybe get some more teeth. Alright, so how are we doing with this? We are done with... Uh, now, we need... Thir no. we Yes, 30. Correcting myself here. 30 fabric. So I need two more. And then we're good. I could buy two from Carol. Or I can just make two more. Then we need a lot of fur as well. So let me go see how much actual fur we need. I think that would be the thing to make at the moment. So I need to make leather times two for each one of the one leather per single seat is it let me just check yeah one leather per single seat we're going to need five dds with two seats each so we're going to need 10 leather and uh, 10 leather is two so it's 20 fur to do 10 leather I need to craft me 10 fur and then craft me 10 fur again once that stops. Then turn those into 10 leather and that'll be enough leather for all the seats. That's good. So then I would have the glass is still being made. We're going to need 30 glass, no, sorry, 25 glass. Got all the plant fiber. We're going to need wooden boards. I'll keep going just cutting loads of wooden boards then. Once I've done my marble for my civil furnace. We've already got rubber tyres times three, but we need quite a bit more rubber fruit, I think. We need 15 rubber fruit per DD car. So we're going to need, that's 50, 5 times 5, 25, 75, 75 rubber fruit total. Not that we need all of that right now, because uh, I've got a lot of it already done. I've got three already done. 34. So probably we could do with like 34. We need, hang on, we've got three tires already. So that means we need another five of them. We're going to need 15 tires. We need another 12 tires. How much rubber fruit for 12 tires? Five per tire, so 12, 50, 60. Total of 60. Okay, so we need another 15. Doable. I'm going to kick some more trees. I'm probably getting my maths wrong here, but... If we have extra rubber tyres, I can always give them to Wu Wu. They are one of his favourites.
What are we up to now? 40. I want to get up to about 55. You seem to get about five per tree. There's a couple of rubber trees around the place. One of the reasons I've built an apple tree so early as well is that tree kicking is probably one of the most boring things you can do in this game. <laughs> it really is. Something that you don't really have to do past the early game though, so it's a bit more forgivable. It's an early game thing. It's to show you how insignificant you are when you're low level. So I'm wanting around about 60. So I kick all these trees again tomorrow, I should get it. That's 50. Okay, so it's quarter past five. Now how's all of the smelting going? Pretty well at the moment. Seems to have plenty of fuel and all that stuff. All that good stuff. The fur is doing very well. In fact, I'll wait for the fur to be finished. And I'll put on some more. In fact, how long would the leather take? Two and a half hours each. Uh, I'm going to do it in order. I'm going to put the fur on first. Right, now let's have a look at my inventory and make sure that it's not completely chockers, which it probably is. So I want to go into my farming and fabric chest and put this cotton and uh, fur in there. I don't know why metal bracelets and things are, are getting in there. Things are getting a bit out of out of order there. I wanted to make wood out of the hardwood so that I had things to refuel with. So that would be a good thing to do next. I think I went to do that and I started looking at other things. Hmm. It's giving me a lot of wood, that. 245. Lovely. Much better. So I could just go looking for more engines at this point. I mean... Let me think, what else have I what else am I doing here? So we're making glass, we're making leather, we're making cloth, we're making tires. I could probably almost make all the tires at this point. And we need to hunt for three more small engines. Yeah, to the mines we go. Yeah, I would say we have enough room there. What's tomorrow? Wednesday. Wednesday the bright sun. That's Friday, isn't it? So, well, Tuesday, Wednesday, then Thursday and Friday. So next, so this episode is pretty much uh, just mucking around, getting things together for the DD car. And uh, the next episode will be the day of the bright sun. And also, it's going to be quite exciting, actually. Day, so, Day of the Bright Sun, and then the episode after that, we'll put the Amber Island Bridge together. And then probably the episodes after that, we're going to start kind of doing all the other quests. So, at the moment, we're, we're doing a lot of prep work for the, the workshop, but I feel that it's kind of going to help us progress faster later on. That's the idea, anyway. So, at the moment, as I say, mining for engines... I will mine for them at the moment, and then later on I shall uh, be digging for them. Sorry, I'll be fighting for them. I gen generally find fighting for things a little bit easier. Uh, okay, loads of stuff down there, look. That's where we were last time, I think. <laughs> Wherever I stand, it's wrong. There we are. 11 meters away, so just try and use up as much stamina as I can each day. Because this is all going to give me stone, copper, whatever I happen to dig through to find these engines. Or eyeglasses. Boo! 
See, I thought when I got the eyeglasses, I would uh, it would trigger the Sanwa quest. I hope that that's not bugged. Probably, though, it's at a certain point in my progression that that will come up. Because it tells me to go to the... Normally, it should tell you to go to the uh, research centre once you start getting your eyeglasses and try and help him with that. But I've only just gotten the thing to tell me that he's kind of feeling down, so I don't know. Okay, go for this one. Please be an engine. If I could just get one engine every time I come down here, I will have enough by the time it's time to make these DD cars. Power stones, three power stones. That's not bad, actually. It's actually good finding all these things because then I won't run out of power for all of my machines that are dutifully working away as I'm trying to find things down here. So tomorrow I'll make two more pieces of cloth on the Skyver, then I'll start it making ten pieces of leather. Which will be fantastic. Because that'll be all the cloth stuff that I struggled so hard last time to get. It'll all just be done. And honestly, paying for the worn leather, <laughs> so worth it. I mean, I could probably, possibly even pay for... I mean, there's a lot of other things that I could pay for wood and and all sorts of things like that i could just spend the whole time fishing to be honest though i like i do like doing some gathering but i find gathering fur one of the more tedious tasks so i really really like to avoid that one if i can let's get out in this direction can't wait to get into the next mine and get my iron tools Okay, another box, old parts, rusty iron pipe. Oh, that'll be useful later on. Keep that. Still no engines though. Maybe there's only one per mine. I don't think that's the case actually. Because I think I have to build the Amber Island Bridge before I can really start um, getting into the ruins, the hazardous ruins anyway, for fighting. And possibly before I can get into abandoned rooms too either. So it is a bit of a task getting these engines ahead of time. Oh, it's half of a sunny side. Nice. Okay, I'm sure there were other ones around. Yep, one right there. Come on, be an engine. Power stones are data discs. Well, I definitely, definitely have stuff to hand into Petra on the morrow. Well, that appears to be the edge of the of the mine, so how come there's stuff beyond it? I feel cheated. That's a bit weird, <laughs> isn't it? I feel very cheated. And it's midnight, and I still haven't found anything. Um, it might be mine reset time. I do reset the mines a lot. It's a thing I do. Don't judge. Okay, so. I'm gonna go out and reset the mine and still dig it. I can still got like 90 stamina. I can dig around for a lot longer. Okay, so, new mine please, yep, 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 I want more engines in this one please, <laughs> Every, everything I get should be an engine, okay, I only have two right now, I need loads more. Okay, it already seems a little better.
Power stones in all parts. Okay. Happens sometimes, I guess. Come on, we've only got an hour left. One hour left. Come on. One engine just before I finish. Please. Strange lenses. What are these? I should go show them to the research center. Yay! I was worried about that quest. I shouldn't have been. I think I needed to pick up a couple after I... Uh, after I got that whole Samwa thing. Oh, I had to get two. That's what it was. One for each eye. Yes, an engine before the end. Thank you, game. That's three engines now out of the five I'm going to need. Okay, and it is a new day. And I now have three engines. Three. I'm very happy with that. Boom. Lots of different relics that I found. Boom. Boom. Sort all as well. Relics. You can't really sort relics so much. I'm going to put the glass back into the sand chest. Along with the eyeglasses, actually. No, eyeglasses are going to stay with me and I will hand them in. That's what's going to happen there. Rubber fruit can go in the farming chest, I think, for now. There's lots of stuff going in there. For some reason, like all these fabric-y things. Oh, it's farming and fabric. Right, farming and fabric might need to get separated out. But in the meantime, I can just move out these things that really shouldn't be in the chest at all. Them in miscellaneous, which is also getting quite full. Do you know what? Why don't I put the bridge in the wood chest? Because it's made of wood. And these planks in there as well. Yeah, that looks good. No mail today. Boo! It's just a boring old Wednesday. Good morning, Pinkie Pie. Wow, 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 wow. Everyone's here. It's crazy. Oh no, so it's Higgins. Quick, run. So I can choose each night whether to go to the pub and talk to people or whether to go mining, really. I could mine in the day and talk to people in the pub at night. So it's a, it's a way where I don't have to be running around in the daytime all the time. I can do things at different times. Which I think is good. Okay. What do we have today? A uh, chair, small chair. Buy a copper bar. Ten wooden basket. That's 11, 10, 19, 11. I'm going to see about making two small chairs. Oh, I don't know if I can make those though. I'm going to accept it. And that, that could be a huge mistake. I'm hoping I can make them. So now I'm up to 335. I'm still in fourth place. It won't take me long to beat Sweet though, hopefully. But it doesn't really tell me here how close I am to going up a level, which is a shame. Higgins is well ahead though. I don't know if I'll manage to beat him by the end of the year. You've basically got a year to get up to that point, but I'm doing a lot that's going to suddenly pay off. So I'm really hoping that that'll be okay. I think we should head on down to the research center and see about Samwa's eyeglasses. Go to the research centre. It feels so weird not having the museum there. Oh. 
Can't wait hey. to get that. Discovered something new? Yeah. Yeah, I found these strange lenses in the ruins. Do you know what they are? Oh, this is pretty neat. They're glasses with a colorful tint. These aren't regular lenses, though, that's for sure. Hey, director, come check this out. What do we have here? Interesting, I'm going to take a look. You can come back tomorrow. Okay, so that'll be the start of next episode then. What a wait a day for that. <sighs> I'm wondering if I can make a thumbnail out of that. Like, that scene looked pretty cool with us all together. But the, the dialogue's always in the way, and it, it used to sometimes give me little separations between that I could use. But now, no. You guys look super busy. I'll I'll maybe just go chat to some other people today. Hey, I'd love to visit the beach, but I'm too busy with the shop. Oh, that's a shame. Hi. So 50 conversations Not with each pe person always, will get you one heart. To me. See ya. Aww. Paulie, where are you? You're meant to be like best, best shop owner. Worst comes to the worst, and I can't make a small chair. I can buy two off Paulie uh, for 120, and then hand them straight back into Arlo at a profit. <laughs> 80 gold profit on that, just for hauling them around. But if I can make them, that'd be even better, because it would be even cheaper. But let's see. And maybe I'll try and make Emily her planter boxes today. This is becoming a bit of a running gag. It's the one thing that it's because it needs the wooden boards off the wooden off the civil cutter, and I just can't be bothered. Okay, so all the bronze plates are, are done. So it's three marble planks now. How long will they take? Four and a half hours. That's not too bad. And then I'll just have it making constant planks after that. We've made the ten fur. Is that my 20 fur for the leather all done? I think it actually is. So if I go to the farming thing, farming and fabric, we've got 20 of those. Yeah. I know I can use them straight out of the thing, but I wanted to just see how many I had. All right, craft 10, one day. So we'll have all the leather we need in one day. Nice. Haven't had any problems with plant fiber this time, which is lovely. Really nice. So many things I don't know how to make. So we're gonna have the Marble planks and the bronze plates done today. So we'll have a civil furnace today. Very good. I think as well, like, I'm going to need to make these, like, DD stops. And I'm pretty sure they're either copper or bronze pipes. Because I can't remember the recipe for them. And I'm trying to do things ahead of time. But I sometimes think that I shouldn't try and be quite so ahead of time. If they haven't already given me the recipe for it, then should I really be trying to make it already? Is that maybe a bit cheaty? I don't know. Probably a bit cheaty making the DDs ahead of time anyway. But I don't care. So I've got the leather, I've got the wooden board times four. I need 20 wooden boards then. How many rubber tires can we make now? Can I make another 12 of those yet? I make one because they require bronze bars. Oh dear. And the fuel is depleted on all of these. I think it might be time to up the old furnace game. Because I don't think we'll be able to make tons of civil furnaces for a while, so it's, it's not going to hurt to have an extra one to make bronze with. Is it now? Not for like 10 wooden tents. I can always sell them as well afterwards. This is where I actually do need the stuff. So I do need wood and stone stools. Can I make small chairs? Yes, I can. Two small chairs. While I'm while I'm there, you know, stone stool and make like eighty of them apparently. You make two. Then get some wood. Still carrying around my fishing rod at the moment. Okay, so wood and stone stools. Place wood. 
Play stone stool. Wonderful. So that's another place that we can make more bronze because bronze is getting a little bit of a tough one to make all the time. Okay, and we have 38 copper ore left. So we could do with getting a bit more copper as well. That's the thing we could do with. Um... Fridge head before I can plant boxes. We need to collect poop. I need four poops. Let's see what I can find. I can see two steaming away over there. That will probably give me four. Normally you get two per pile. So if you give this to the right person. Like people that probably are into like farming and growing things, maybe someone like Alice or Emily or something like that. Then you then they quite like it. I think Martha, you, you get something like minus fifty if you give her poop. It's always or so, no, is it maybe Anton? Someone, someone that gets it's really, really, really bad. You lose like half a heart with them if you give them poop. So be very careful who you give poop to. Is it's the basic lesson there. Um. I could go and hand in those chairs, I guess. Can I actually make a DD yet? I just make one. I think I can, you know. Oh, I think the only thing I'm missing is maybe the wooden boards. Can I make single two single seats yet? I'm missing... I have the wooden boards to make one single seat. And then I have... I don't have the leather yet. No, I can't make one yet. Once I have a couple more boards and one more piece of leather, I can make my first one. And that'd be good to just get the ingredients out of the, out of the way. So, someone is sat in Django's wanting... Wanting those small chairs. Oh, you look so good on your white horse, Arlo. Wow. Thanks. If you run any, into any trouble, don't hesitate to ask the Civil Corps for help. I will never, ever... What are you giving me bathing suits for, Arlo? Honestly. However, I believe... Let's go and test this out. I believe that that is a really nice present for Carol. I think I, I could be wrong there, but I think she really likes them. Let's check. Thank you. Oh no! She doesn't really like it that much. Oops. I wonder who? I'm sure, I'm sure someone liked it. Oh well. <laughs> I regifted. Someone was saying in my comments that they, uh, they gifted Ginger an umbrella and she gave it back to them in the day of the bright sun. I bet they felt mortified. Okay, that's all done. Right, so next thing I want to do is to make a whole chunk of wooden boards. We're going to need them for the seats. And also for the planter boxes. So then I'm going to make a civil furnace. And for that I need the... Those. And I need those. Civil furnace! Yay! Oh, I need stone stools too. Oops. For some reason I only have one. I thought I had made another one, but never mind.
I was a bit ahead of myself there, but never mind. So that will probably go in the corner there, so I need to move two of those out of the way. So if I move that one just down like that, and that one there. Remember how long I had three furnaces for in my last playthrough? <laughs> I think it was way beyond like this episode. There we are. So I can do all sorts of stuff here. I can do carbon steel bars on there. I can do 50 at a time of like copper bars and oh no, 25 at a time I think it is. Which is really nice. I'm just going to craft another nine um, and 40 wood can go in there at a time as well. So that's all really super useful. Some more bronze. Now I'm out of bronze and copper, which says to me I need to go back to the mine again now. So is everything all good? All good in the hood? Yeah, that's all fueled up. These all fueled up nicely. Crafting's completed there. I'll make glass then. I need glass. whole bunch of bronze bars being made. I can't make any more. Glass being made down there. I can just make sure they're all fueled up though. That's the one thing I can do. Just fuel everything up. Um, make sure it's all doing what it should be doing. And then go get more ingredients. So the wooden board there. Check that that's got a day or two on the power stone. Which it does. Let's go into the farming one and put these seeds away. Wood away. Fabric. Leather away. Miscellaneous, put that pipe away. And then I think I'm good. So it's much better than it used to be, definitely. For I like my little workshop, actually. I think it's quite cute. I think it's very cute. How many gold to upgrade? How much... That will be happening. I think I have way more. Yeah, I've got plenty enough to expand. Mind you, I'm just gonna go and do the mine. We'll do that next next time, I think. I'm gonna get in that mine. So I now have enough poop and stuff to do the planter boxes. I'm just waiting on wooden boards and I keep doing more wooden boards and then I'll make all the single seats with the wooden boards. Keep making bronze, keep making bronze, keep making bronze. <laughs> And the next time we'll probably expand the workshop out. We might even be able to get two expansions. That'd be amazing. Right, let's have a little look in here then. I found one industrial engine last time. Small engine even, not an industrial engine. We're nowhere near that point at this, this stage. Okay, let's dig. Let's dig. Let's find those engines. I need two more, two more engines, and then I pretty much have everything I need for these DD cars. Weird glass jar. Hmm. I wonder how many of the relics I can actually put together yet, and I can put them in my yard if I want. I don't really have the space right now, but I can if I want. Old parts, okay. There was another point that I found, I think it's gotten a little bit lost. Scanner is super duper rubbish.
Might need to reset it again. I'm just not really seeing anything. I know there was one there, but sometimes it's just better to start afresh. Ugh, oh, man, it was telling me to change the floor level in the loading screen as I realised that what I had done is not changed the floor level. Mm-hmm. Now we get two more loading screens with two more awesome things on them. Yeah, I want a new level, please. Thank you very much. Sanwa is the only barber in Porsche. I shouldn't know that yet. You've given me a loading screen with spoilers in it. Terrible. Please be an engine, please be an engine. I already need to. It's a box with structural dimension theory in it. That's actually a good gift, I believe, for Gust. Might be good for um, Albert. I'm not really sure, actually. Probably more just for Gust. There's a couple more around here. In fact, that one looks closer. They're all a good, a good few strikes of the pickaxe away, though. But finding more than one is is good. <gasps> I got an engine. Yes, right. Okay, one more to go. One more. And then I do definitely need to start looking for um, more copper and things. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should concentrate more on getting copper and tin. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. I'm just not getting through this stamina right now. I need a heavier axe or something, don't I? Eyeglass? Yeah, I'm going to go out and I'm going to concentrate on the like uh, copper vein because I've not been doing that quite so much. Let's get out of the scanner menu and give this a good old mine of copper and tin. And I'll be able to make lots and lots and lots of bronze, which seems to be the thing of the moment at the moment. And then eventually... The next ruin will open up and I'll be mining quite a lot at that point for iron. I'm definitely going to be spending a lot more um, time and money on presents this time than I did last time early game which means I'll probably be a lot poorer to start with but I'll be rich in friendship and that's all that matters right I will definitely as well this time be getting I've got more of an idea who I want to marry and stuff like that this time It'll be happening a lot earlier because I do want to then be unlocking the family side of it, the babies and having my animals get petted by my husbando and uh, and all that good stuff that you get with the marriage. And the fact that the marriage goes beyond the ten hearts is really interesting as well and that there seem to be some sort of post-marriage uh, quests and things you can do. So I'm quite interested in all of that. Level 14. Very nice. So now I can start putting more of my... Do you know what I'm actually going to do for this one level? Just for this one level. Just this one. I'm actually going to put it into dash. Then I'll put a couple of points into presence. And then we'll start looking at uh, what else we want to do. I mean, if I want to do things like advanced lumbering and advanced mining and things like that, I'm going to need to put at least one point into lucky me, so double double loot. But at the moment, all of these things are useful. I mean, intensive training early on, increase uh, EXP gain, probably would be useful. 
At the moment, I'm getting levels really thick and fast, but as that level starts to slow down, getting the EXP faster will be really useful. Uh, how are we doing? Have we mined all of this away now? Most of it, to be honest. Well, some bits we can still get. Okay, I think I've messed that one up enough. That's the thing, I don't mine until I've got all of the copper out. I mine until I've messed it up enough that I, it's not realistic to do anymore. Oh man, I hate it when this happens. It looks like there's a massive copper vein, but there's actually a big like structural fault underneath it. And the whole mine is in like weird layers. It's getting late, you should get some rest. No, I need more copper! I need more! I need so much more. I may as well just mine my little heart out at this point. Mine everything, even the stone. Doesn't matter. Anything you can mine, just do it. Stone and soil and sand, they're all still useful. Just keep going, you've got 10 minutes left. Mine, 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 mine. Woo! Good job, Shelab. So that was pretty awesome. We had a really good episode there. Got the civil furnace done, we got the, uh, we realised that actually we should have ages ago expanded the workshop. Look out there. So we've got the, got the furnace done. We, we've got, we've got the, the workshops looking lovely now. We've got all of these, uh, smelters behind here doing stuff. We are almost ready for the DDs. There's some mail there, but we'll see what that is in the morning. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more about the My Time at Portia, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.